Hello, YouTube friends and neighbors. Today I'm unboxing a case of the uh, specialty store exclusive uh, Golden Age Batman Funko Pops. Uh, I'm kind of excited, even though there's way too many Batman Funko Pops out there. Uh, I'm actually kind of excited for this one. All right. That's how the case looks like from up top. It, the box got a little bit beat up, so I'm hoping the Funko Pops are okay inside the box. But let's get them out and check them out. Alright, it looks like the box has got a little bit crunched up. Ugh. I hate when the mail beats stuff up. There they are. It looks like one of the boxes here got smushed and there. I need to, um, I bet the boxes aren't too bad. There's got to be a way you can use an iron or something to fix them a little bit. I got to play with that, but not with these guys. Okay, let's open one of these guys up so we can check them out and see what it looks like. So why I think this Batman is cool is it's the original Batman, the one that was uh, around for a very long time in the you know 40s and 50s. Uh, it looks like they're doing a whole bunch of... They have a White Lantern. Let's see. Oh, the Super Friend Batman. That's one I'm really excited about. And the Darkest Night Batman. I don't know. I kind of like them all. I'm a Batman fan. I don't know if I'm a fan of having so many Batman Funko Pops when there's other characters they haven't even made yet. But uh, I still like them. All right, let's get this guy out of the box. All right, there he is, Golden Age Batman. He's pretty cool. I like how his inner cape is like a lighter blue color. And I really like his action pose. He's ready to stop some crime. I mean, he's a kind of simple design, but that's because he's based on the original Golden Age Batman. He's not, you know, like the modern Batmans with armor and all that. He's just uh, a guy fighting crime in tights. <laughs> he's really cool. I really like him. I don't know. He might be one of my favorite Batmans so far, even though there's so many pretty cool Batmans I've done. All right, next I have another case. It's the uh, specialty store exclusive Howard the Duck Dorbs. Uh, I'm not really that big of a fa Dorbs fan. I don't really have that many. Most of the ones I have are from the subscription boxes. But uh, I figure since I got the case from my shop, I'll open it up so you guys can kind of see what the case looks like. That's what it looks like from the top. This box arrived in better shape than the Batman box. Let's get the Dorbs out. Howard the Duck. He's cute. I'll probably end up keeping one of these. I like Howard the Duck. I like the, as a kid, I like the movie and I like the comic books. The comic books are a little bit better than the movie, or a lot better. But I like both. Right, there they are out of the case. Let's open one up, see what he looks like. These are, uh, with the dorbs, they're sealed on the top, but the bottom's unsealed, so you can pull them out from the bottom without, uh, you can still seal them back up if you want to later. Kind of like the Funko Pops. All right, here he is, a close up of him. Um, I don't know what I'm going to say. I'm kind of not a big fan of Dorbs. He's kind of a little too plain and boring. I mean, he reminds me of uh, like Fisher Price Little People from the 70s, which I grew up with. I like those, but I like them when they're vintage. I don't really like when they recreate them. But uh, I'll probably end up keeping one of these just because I like the character. But uh, Dorbs are not calling my name. I don't feel like I have the urge to collect every single one out there. All right, let's compare the two. Howard the Duck and Batman, pretty cool. All right, I hope you guys like seeing how the specialty series cases 
look compact. Uh, if you enjoyed my video, please thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.